what are we doing out here? Pulling up all this turf right here. The pool's going down. First day, breaking ground. This is hot tamale. Are you guys helping? Lots of pipe. When Oliver grabbed this pipe and carried it over to the side of the seat. Wow, muscles. You and your brother got it. Cedar, why are you still in your pajamas? It's 2.30 in the afternoon, Cedar Fox. What the sun fills me. Why are you still in your jammies? I need to go get clothes on. You better. It's 2.30 and Daddy's out here working. Max is out here working. The boys are over there. But drive them up a little bit. Then you grab a wall by the end. And you're having to cut the drive. That's good. Turn around. That way. Are you helping daddy work? Yeah. You're a hard worker, huh, Porter? Careful. This guy can't stop. He just has to join in and help out. The coping just got hard today. Chase is helping. We just need some water, huh, guys? What are you guys doing? What's your job, bub? What's your job, dude? Helping? Shark Boy, what's your job? Being a crybaby? Is that your job, Shark Boy? Yeah! <laughs> Rebar's almost done. Porter, are you helping? Wes is over here. He's been here for three days, 72 years old. Five, five Four or five days, okay? And he's been out here working his little butt off. Trev's here helping. Coming along. Concrete gets poor tomorrow.
All right, so the way it started was uh, back in December 2020, Cody and I were just scribbling on a piece of paper what it would be nice to have a pool. I submitted it to this um, gal, Erica Lopez, and just said, hey, I kind of want to see if you could draw this up, kind of start taking the path on what it would take to get um, our pool permits. I'm not even kidding you, like a month later, I got a bill for 2,500 bucks and she had already got the permit. So whatever I had drawn her was sufficient enough um, for the county to approve. So anyways, from there, Cody and I had to make a decision on whether or not we were um, gonna build now because the permit expires in a year or wait till the end. But you know, since it's summer coming around, it was like right at the very end of winter, coming into spring, I knew there wasn't gonna be a lot of rain. I, I'm not even kidding, a week after I got my permit, I called my cousin, I said, dude, cancel work this weekend, we're digging a pool. So he came up and he dug it and he's like, I've done one pool in like a month. And so I kind of set that as my goal. I know people were telling me everything's um, backed up because of COVID and whatnot and it's about a five month process, but everything said and done, like we did this thing in 38 days from the day I dug it to the day I filled it with water, it was only 38 days. And which is like unheard of. Yeah. And I, it's not because of me. I mean, maybe I ran it a little hard and the stacked everybody, aligned, but yeah, the stars aligned and we worked hard and we were responsible for paying everybody on time and then holding ourselves responsible for cleanup and, and uh, getting our inspections written off and all that kind of good stuff. So in the end, we're super thankful. We're happy. The kids love it. They've swam every day. We've had rain. A couple days since we've built the pool, the kids have swam in the rain, and uh, it's just been an awesome thing for our family. Tons of memories already been made. We expect to have many, many more, and uh, we're super thankful to be able to do this, so. Yeah, we're really thankful for this guy for working so hard to make it happen. All for them. Yeah.